A new manual that outlined procedures for cabinet submissions was today rolled out to senior government officials. The workshop held at the Radisson Resort was aimed at facilitating the implementation of the new protocols and assist ministries to utilize standardized templates. Cabinet Secretary Ms. Beryl Isaac says this new document will not meet the pitfalls of other documents sitting on shelves. We have to change the practice where we prepare excellent documents, but they are left on the shelves. The public service is replete with reports from numerous studies that are accumulating dust, either on the shelves, in drawers, or in filing cabinets, or elsewhere. For us, ministers and public officers, this manual has to be like our Bible, and so, let us all work together to ensure that it becomes a living document and that it delivers the benefits that are envisioned. Otherwise, our time here today would have been wasted. The new cabinet manual was approved by government in June this year. Ms. Isaac provided some of the requirements it stipulates. As Dr. Johnson will tell you later, a cabinet submission is the key instrument of written policy advice to cabinet and a tool that an individual minister uses to obtain the support of his, his or her colleagues for a proposed course of action. Therefore, the quality of the submissions matter. Ministries and departments must now present persuasive evidence to the cabinet that they have adequately understood the problem being addressed and that the interventions they propose will work in our local context. There must be evidence of the cost effectiveness of the interventions and their feasibility based on our available resources. Added to these, another requirement Ms. Isaac deemed critical is that of greater consultation with other ministries in the preparation of submissions and the submission of an implementation plan for complex proposals. This new cabinet manual calls for a modification in the way things are done, Ms. Isaac says, and so all hands are required to be on deck to ensure its implementation. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell reiterated the importance of the implementation of this new cabinet manual. He urged his cabinet colleagues to use the session effectively for the improvement of services they deliver to the country. Time must be spent on less mundane stuff. I can't, members of cabinet will know that I have spoken enough on these matters, sometimes we bring things that could have easily been dealt with by just communications. So we want to be able, cabinet time should be very short, precise, and strategic. Also, it includes a new process for proposed legislation. We cannot ask the Ministry of Legal Affairs to construct a legislative initiative without serious policy guidance. Also, it includes a new process for proposed legislation. So we have to spend more specific and strategic time in policy initiative that will guide those legislative activities. In 2017, the World Bank provided technical assistance to conduct a comprehensive review of cabinet procedures. Christina John, GBN News.